Ed Monk was another designer that you can look at a boat and just instantly tell that it's a, a Monk design. Uh, he sort of pioneered the Northwest style of bridge deck cruiser with uh, kind of a raised foredeck and a wheelhouse halfway embedded into it and did uh, a lot of variations on that theme. Norm's dad actually gave Monk his first yacht design commission and that was for the Silver King that was built for Mrs. Eskridge of Los Angeles. Norm could tell you some stories about Mrs. Eskridge that you probably couldn't use in this film. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. I guarantee you, you could. <laughs> um, the, the yacht was actually attributed to Ted Geary for a long time, but it is, it is Ed Monk's first design, and interestingly, she is almost a carbon copy of Ted Geary's Hermina in 1924. Early in his career, Monk worked at Seattle boatyards and took correspondence courses in naval architecture. He put in a stint at the Blanchard Yard and then went to work for Geary. In 1930, as the Depression quieted the Seattle Yards, Monk followed Geary to Hollywood, where he assisted with projects like Infanta. Three years later, Monk returned to Washington and established his own firm. He needed a home for his family and a place to work, so he built the 50-foot Nan and moored her at the Seattle Yacht Club. His office was a cubbyhole in a corner of the house. Garden remembers Monk the older man sent his younger colleague the commissions he wasn't interested in, what Garden terms turkey jobs. He was a wonderful man. I met him in about 1933, I guess, when he lived in the little Nan, the little cruiser he built at the Seattle Yacht Club. A kindly person, very helpful. He used to send the turkey jobs to me when I was starting. My father worked with Ed Monk Sr. Uh, on many uh, builds. I remember as a kid, we'd quite often go over to Port Madison and tie up at his dock, and Dad would go up and, and uh, be discussing with Ed Sr., uh, uh, one design or another, and we'd be playing, you know, catching perch on the dock and so on. And Monk. Garden and Seaborn, I think, were probably the most important people that Dad worked with. Monk's probably one of the most written about uh, Northwest designers. He started off as a boat builder, him and his brother, um, eventually began designing boats as a hobby, he was able to apply that hobby into a, uh, a livelihood. He became one of the most prolific designers in the Pacific Northwest. He designed everything from fishing boats to uh, military boats to Pacific luxury boats to sailboats. Um, fascinating guy. 